Hi friends, today we dive in a stormy sea to see some mermaids. This is my uh, second design team project for uh, Susan Taylor Brown and her design team Poppiness. I I'm using here her um, Ocean Songs, the Mermaid digital paper kit. It's a big, big kit. I think it has total 17 pages. It comes in five zipped files, lots of lined papers, background papers, tags and everything. And let's go inside of my, my mermaids. So this time I made a cover using a laminated page. So this is one page of, from the kit where I um, put some uh, cheese cloth and some um, uh, thread pieces I have left and this piece is from a wallpaper and in the back is also a piece of the wallpaper and this is the paper from the kit I think it's really gorgeous and the colors are so adorable for the spine I used some of these great looking threads I, eyelash thread, I think you call them. And um, the size was, it's like eight inches to five and one quarter. And it's made like the traveler's notebook with um, elastic closer. So it means that you can always take the pages off and put them in there. So for the first page, I used I had this six by six uh, um, papers left. So I used this because it was very very seaside mail, and there is also a piece of the wallpaper. And this is an image from Pinterest, and it's a tap pocket. And there is a vintage um, postcard from the, it's from Copenhagen. There is this from the um, fairy tale, The Little Mermaid. This was my, um, when I was five years old, my parents took me to Copenhagen. And we, I saw this there. And since that time, that fairy tale is one of my favorites. And when making this, I read the fairy tale and it's so somehow sad, you know, it makes you cry. But it's, it's lovely, I love it. Here I've um, put an image from Pinterest and then I made some tags with the um, Ocean Songs uh, kits. And this looks so great, the colors are great and you can really um, make it alive. And then just put some trim and some sparkling little pieces to make a tag out of it. And the um, colors of this kit are blues, greens and some grays, but moody, moody colors a bit. Just I have made it colored um, totally, and some pages I just left because they are so beautiful. Here some stamping, and in this page I made a big pocket using some trims, and inside I put one picture from Pinterest because well, this reminds me from the fairy tale and this cute tag
And this is a stamp. I used some two kind of inks. Make the shell. And here I made some stamping with word waves. And this is a sticker of a coral. Here, just a piece of paper from Pinterest I made this for writing. And also, um, this kit has lots of lined papers because that's, I mean, I love this because it's good for writing. There is the second tag I made. Some antique lace piece and again, piece of that uh, wallpaper. And back you can just write. And it's really, you know, you can really feel the sea and uh, wind and it's lovely. Here I just put this one little piece here and just left the page as it is because it's, it speaks to itself. Here just made a, um, with this uh, a hole and put this tag here. This I bought for my summer holidays and here is one of my envelopes I made from this sardine paper because I think it goes well because it's, it's fish. <laughs> it was fish. And using some, some scraps what I had and inside are some stickers of the fishes and I think it goes well to here. And here, you know, it's so easy to make the, the page like it, it's alive. Just put these three small pearls, half pearls, and it's done. And this kit, it really, I can make different projects and still have different pages to use. It also has these cards and those I used this way here and in the middle this is just some paper from my stash and there's the elastic and in this twine I just put some shells I found. The holes were already there so it was easy to put them here. And that's the other side of the cards. They are beautiful. I would love to live here. <laughs> Look at this. Here I made a, a side pocket. And as I had three of these left, so these are just for writing. And then I found this from Pinterest. M for mermaid who lives in the caves and rides on the fishes through the wild waves. On the other side is it N stands for the nymph, who is a nice shell, loves with the mermaids and fishes to dwell. Oh, and she also has uh, quotes, 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 quotes for this kit, I think. Um, have to check those two. Maybe for next project. There's another pocket, and here I just put this. This is from some restaurant where I was in during the summer holidays. And here also I used these small half pearls to make the page alive and some trim. So if somebody loves green and blue, so this is the kit for, for her or him. And here in another pocket, and there's the third tag I've made. And there is also a poem. 
On the beach where the children play, white-capped waves dash and roll all day, bringing and tossing foam to wa so white, really, it's a lovely sight. And the end you can just read here. This was actually an advertisement for fairy show. And there is just some, I made some stamping with the seahorse and put this piece of eyelash trim with this flower. Isn't this gorgeous? I love these colors. The other side of the doily and the large page. So thank you for joining me today and if you don't know Susan's uh, Etsy shop so far so please go and visit. It's called Poppiness. I will put all the information uh, under this video and uh, I just noticed and that I have reached 400 subscribers and that's an amazing amount for me. I know there are plenty with a lot more, but 400 is for me a great, great number. And I would love to thank you, all of my subscribers, for um, supporting me. I have only had great um, comments and um, it gives me more inspiration to go on with um, making videos, even... Um, I'm not that technical person. But anyways, thank you a lot for joining me today and see you soon. Bye.